everybody, welcome to Brickboard, my name is Mike and today is our another weekly mocks update episodes. I'm gonna be showing 10 mocks that I found the best during this week from my least favorite to my most favorite one. At the end of the episode we will be showcasing your mocks that you sent to us and also we have set up some rules because we are getting a lot of submissions, we want to really make sure we have the best quality pictures available. So please follow those rules, those are in the video description below and also the mail to sending those mocks is there as well. So without further ado, let's get started with this first mock. And remember guys, links to all those cool creations can be found in the video description below. And the first entry on the list is actually consisting of two mocks that go together very well. That is the Euclid R170 and Marathon Lee Tourneau L1200 Letro Loader. Wow, that is a long name. Both are built by Beat Felber. As you can see, those are massive construction vehicles. The R170 is a mining truck, kind of reminds me of those massive trucks working in quarries. The level of details is pretty impressive and of course the main cargo tray works as the real thing. I think the truck might actually be minifig scale. I am just assuming by the cockpit that probably can fit a minifigure inside. The thing looks really awesome but what really completes it is the marathon letter known wheel loader. And also on this one everything moves and works as intended. The vehicle is designed to be very turnable, it has a massive engine in the back and you can just feel how much engineering went into this one. A very cool set of mocks but moving on. And we are landing in the World War II era with this beautiful B-25J Mitchell by Dornby. And you guys are listening to a huge military aviation fan. I was seeing this beautiful aircraft numerous times uh, on the San Diego skies here during different air shows. And I have to say that the model catches the beauty of this beast amazingly. It seems to be a midi scale build, so it's not minifigure scale. Color theme is dark green, I guess you have seen this one in the Sop with Camel set. I think the designer might have used a number of pieces from that one. But overall it's a classic World War II bomber with great printing and great shapes. I have to say that I have been doing a lot of aircraft modeling back in my days, but with such builders around I can get back into that with LEGO. And if you guys are into aircraft as I am, check out this builder's Flickr page because he has designed a number of those in LEGO. Now let's jump forward into the far future to check out this beautiful spaceship that is a Nagas class heavy frigate by Mitsuru Nikaido. The creator's photo history on Flickr tells me that he is a really good spaceship builder. Everything looks so meticulously detailed, we have amazing engines, amazing shapes, mostly grey colors though, but I guess that just makes all those ships look a little bit more realistic. And I also think that is a midi scale model, you can see very clever use of number of pieces, for example those skis in grey. The photo quality from Mitsuru is very high, you can see a lot of details, a lot of close ups for different pieces. Even though it seems to be a small model, it must have taken a lot of time to construct. The ship seems to be equipped with a lot of armament and the main cannon seems to be sitting at the very top. I am not sure if this is based on any sci-fi lore, I just assume it is an original design. Also check out the creator's Flickr page, he has some really really cool stuff out there. Alright, but let us abandon the space and sci-fi for now, get back to earth and check out this Disney Lego store in Shanghai. This beautiful oriental building was recreated by Kian YJ. I am really not sure if I spelled the name correctly, but you can see that he paid attention to every single detail to recreate this wonderful building. Some pictures show the model right next to the actual building, and from what I can see I can call that a perfect model. Everything was scaled down in just the right way, even the iconic classic Spaceman rocket on the roof. The store of course has fully flushed out interiors, and it is so well designed that it was actually displayed in the very shop. It kind of makes any other LEGO store models look like uh, just tiny toys. All the high resolution pictures are available on the creator's Flickr page and while you are there be sure to check out his other builds, especially the ones with LEGO Chinese Wind Architecture theme. And this next mock should appeal to all the fans that love classic 80s cars. Because this is a beautifully recreated Porsche 944 by Sir Manperson. Now this car just screams 80s, you can almost hear some kind of a synthwave soundtrack running right in the radio. If you guys watched uh, Kung Fury you should know what I mean. Oh and if you haven't, you definitely should. Not only this is a really cool car to go with, but also the designer went extra extra mile to get this thing as detailed as possible. That being said, we have completely built engine, everything just opens up. The spacing, the shapes, the angles are just right. Again, one of those models you would really want to have on your shelf. I especially like the dashboard, that looks just amazing. And one fun touch is the usage of the rotary pieces for headlights. Seriously, who would have thought that they would look as good? Those open up as in the real thing, by the way. And I think after seeing this model, I just found my favorite LEGO car builder. Sir Manperson, job well done. 
And for all you guys, be sure to check out his Flickr page, because that Porsche is not his only creation of such quality. We are still in the cars department, but this time with a much more wicked theme to that. Cause here is the Doof Wagon from Mad Max Fury Road. You probably know what Mad Max post-apocalyptic world is all about. And this guy is one of the craziest vehicles as seen in the latest iteration of the franchise. As far as I remember, this vehicle was kind of a headquarters for the main bad guys in the movie. And the most recognizable part was this massive sound setup, along with one of the crazy warriors playing a double guitar in the front, as he was proudly riding along to seek his redemption in Valhalla. The Doof Wagon was designed by Spearhead and it even comes with a small diorama to place the vehicle on. Very cool looking set, and believe me the Mad Max world is so bizarre that I'm quite surprised that the designer was able to catch the vibe so closely. And if you look at his Flickr page, the interesting fact is that this is a completely new style of building for him as he was doing some completely different stuff before. And now for something completely different to change the tone, those are LEGO face mashups by LEGO Holy. And by face mashups I mean cleverly mixing some cool characters from different lores. The designer Tyler aka LEGO Holic presented 5 funny scenes with different characters and quite appropriate titles. So to start off we have Elementary My Dear Bilbo with Sherlock Holmes and Bilbo Baggins. Well, being quite a howdy hobbit, I'm not sure if Bilbo would be a great replacement for Dr. Watson. The next one is simply called Dr. Who, portraying a somewhat funny would-be meetup of Doc Brown from Back to the Future and no one else but Dr. Who from the legendary BBC series. That is a great play of words with the classic Doc Brown's expression, Great Scott! Another one titled You Shall Not Pass This Class is showing Harry Potter and, well, not Dumbledore, but Gandalf the Grey from, of course, Lord of the Rings franchise. Actually, I always thought that those two wizards have something in common. Next one, titled The Fellowship of the Dead, shows off another Lord of the Rings character that is Legolas with Daryl from the Walking Dead series. Well, I guess that is the clash of two really good sharpshooters. I wonder if Gimli would challenge Daryl the same way he did challenge Legolas in the movies. And the final addition to this great mashup is called I Am Not a Groot, with Iron Giant and Groot from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Another funny meetup given the fact that both characters do not speak too much. Well, the only thing Groot says is uh, I am Groot. Those scenes were released over the course of a week. I was really pleased to see them and I hope Tyler has some more to come. Alright, and for the last three mocks we are switching back to the sci-fi slash space. This is the MCVP, which stands for Mega Core Vehicle Platform. And the reason this one is among the favorites for this week for me is that it resembles the classic Mega Core Magnetizer set from the 90s. I am kind of biased because that was my favorite set when I was a kid. This one however uses more of a classic LEGO space color theme. There is the iconic set of six big wheels, the massive windshield, but overall the set is much more detailed than its predecessor. The back section also disconnects as a separate module, and on the main platform it can have a crane or a weapon system. Well, I am just sold whenever anyone returns to one of the classic themes from LEGO, especially the space ones. And because of that I just bookmarked Z Cerberus, the designer of this set, right into my favorites folder. And as expected, the MCVP is not his only design in the classic LEGO space theme, so be sure to check his Flickr page. Next up we have two mechs or robots. Those are the M9 Orange Head 5 drone and the GM14S Medium Mech, both designed by Marco Marozzi. I picked them because they differ so much and come from the same designer. The M9 looks very slick, the orange color theme works very well with that one, and this build is another great example of using very few pieces to achieve an amazing look. So I guess this mech would be more of a scout surveillance drone. The GM14S Medium Mech, however, looks more of a frontline support fire system. He kind of resembles the massive robots so often visible in the Japanese sci-fi lores. The color theme is actually pretty cool. I think he even uses some custom printing on some very good stickers to get those hexagonal shapes that may be a depiction of his digital camouflage. And as any respectful mech, he comes with a big gun or even a rocket launcher. Marco as the LEGO builder is very solid in his ideas, so you can see plenty plenty of cool mechs on his Flickr page. Be sure to check them out. And to wrap up our top 10 mocks list for this week, we have this great looking space station in microscale. This mock is called Classic Space Controller 15 by Damien Labrus. And boy, why is it on top of the list? Because it's a space station that is uh, close in look to the Homeworld video game. And let me tell you, this game was my life for a long time. 
The designer's Flickr page also even shows some uh, homeworld LEGO builds. So I'm down to that. Anyway, I haven't seen a LEGO space build in Microscale for a while now and this one will be really hard to beat. We can see some wonderful use of pieces here and there. Again, the entire color theme is in resemblance to the classic LEGO space. But what really catches the eye is the shape of the station. We have landing pads, hangars, the control tower, the sensor array, the shuttles, the fighters, everything is just where it's supposed to be. And remember that microscale building requires a lot of creativity and attention to details, and sometimes it can be even harder than building in the bigger scales. So that is another massive plus one for this build. And with such a talented builder as Damon, I would say he should continue doing what he does, because not only he already has some cool microscale building designs, but he also has some award-winning minifig scale ships on his Flickr page. So be sure to check them out, and I personally will be following this guy very closely. Alright guys, and those are the top 10 mocks for this week, and now it is time to showcase some of what you guys did. Now, we are continuously receiving a lot of submissions, and we had to set up some rules to sort all this incoming mail and pictures. So, as I mentioned in the intro, please try your best to follow these rules. All these are listed out also in the video description below. So, without further ado, let's cue the music and show off your mocks. <laughs> 